A bipartisan group of senators this morning are accusing the Biden administration of blocking their access to classified documents discovered at the homes of President Biden, former President Trump, and former Vice President Mike Pence. The controversy over the documents also now has the National Archives considering ways to make sure that there aren't more sensitive papers missing. Congressional correspondent Stephanie Liebergen is live at the White House uh, with the details for us this morning. Hey, Stephanie. Hey guys, good morning. Well, there certainly is some bipartisan anger and frustration, especially from the Senate Intelligence Committee that wants more information on the classified documents that were found um, in President Biden, former Vice President Mike Pence, and former President Trump's homes. They want access to those classified documents, but so far they say the Biden administration hasn't provided that access, citing the ongoing special counsel investigations. Now, this frustration is actually something that's been building for months. It date, dates back to the initial classified documents that were first found in Mar-a-Lago. That search warrant was executed about four months ago, and the Senate Intelligence Committee says they still don't have information on what classified documents were involved there. They still don't have a potential damage assessment related to those classified documents. So Senate Intelligence Chairman Mark Warner says this delay is just unacceptable. This position that we are left in limbo until somehow a special counsel designates that it's okay for us to get briefed is not going to stand. Now, senators note that during special counsel, special counsel Mueller's investigation of the um, related to Russia, that senators and lawmakers were able to get access to some of those classified documents involved. Now, other senators on the Intelligence Committee, Senator Tom Cotton, says he's threatening to stall Senate business to get access to these documents. Prepared to refuse consent or to fast track any nominee for any department or agency and to take every step I can on every committee on which I serve to impose consequences on the administration until they provide these documents. Now, the White House itself doesn't have the information on what was involved in all of these documents, that information now with the National Archives and with the Department of Justice. In fact, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre repeatedly refers questions related to these classified documents to the Department of Justice or to the White House Counsel's Office. Um, so we, you know, a lot of questions, a lot of people want more information about what's in these documents and not able to access it. In fact, with the growing issue we have here with more and more people finding classified documents where they're not supposed to be, the archives is reportedly considering asking all former presidents and vice presidents to search their homes and make sure they don't have something that they're not supposed to. All right, congressional correspondent Stephanie Liebergen reporting live from D.C.